Let's look at another example of writing a number in scientific notation. Suppose you have number 1,576,335. How will you write that in scientific notation? Now we have quite a number of digits here that are not zero and so on. In addition to writing it in scientific notation, what we could do is write that number to three significant figures. So let me put it here. We want to write this to three significant figures and in scientific notation. Now, if you write this to three significant figures, what you would have is, I want you to do it, pause the video and do it and then come back. Alright, good. You've done it, so let's see. It's The first significant figure is 1, second significant figure is 5, next significant figure is 7, but the number to the right is 5 or more, so you go one back to the 7 and write 8. And you fill in these numbers to show the size of the number. So it's 1,580,000. But now, in scientific notation, remember the rule, the first digit, then the point. The first digit, the one to the left of the point, must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, nothing more, nothing else. Then the other digits, 5, 8. Then you multiply by 10 to a certain power. Now, if you want 1.58 to become 1,580,000, what would you multiply 1.58 by? Well, we, can, we have a way of figuring it out. If the point was here, and you move the point a number of places. Each time you multiply by 10, it's like moving the point one place to the right. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six places to the right. So you multiply by a one with six zeros. You multiply by a million. In other words, you multiply by 10 to the power of six. So, it's 1.58 times 10 to the 6 to 3 significant figures and in scientific notation. So, you see that. We're going to look at an example with a small number, but let's do that in a separate video. So, I'll see you.